Adventure Podcast. In Minecraft. With Adventure Steve. And Adventure Sam. So that was a, that was it for in the recording. If you like to check it and whatnot, and there's right, no, see what the levels are. Yeah, check the audio spike. Okay. that would be where. So, welcome back to Adventure Podcasts. I'm Adventure Steve, and I'm Adventure Sam, and we're telling you about our adventures in Minecraft. Okay, so Adventure Sam, you're back on the sixteen two server. Yes, making me dizzy. <laughs> but then I'm a little bit older, so my eyes are a little slower. Yeah, don't look at that one. That one's laggy. You know, I see. Well, yeah, there might be multiple screens involved as well. Okay, but... So for today, which is episode two, I believe... Yes. And uh, you were going to show us... So you, you, you gave us a little bit of an intro to the little village of Ors Rest. Mm-hmm. Which has got its own interesting, unique flavor. But then you have your own base that's not in the village. Yes. I have. I had my original base in that cave. And then there's the secondary base I built, which was the farm area. Okay. And, and that's, then I... That's where there's some animals, etc. Mm-hmm. And then there's the third one. And there's the third one. So you're going to show us where your secret... Well, if you show us, it won't be a secret. So it's not, not really a secret base, but yeah. Well, it just sounds better if you say secret underwater base. Yeah, I'm gonna quickly actually tab onto the mini map, which is in the top right of the recording, okay. and I'll zoom in onto the location of it. So, due south of the village, roughly, roughly, yeah, is a, an itty bitty, not island. <laughs> <laughs> well, it might be considered. A, it's a. It's a. It's, an, it's a, a an adventure Sam made island. Yeah. <laughs> and so you're getting there by going through the, the nether. nether, yeah. It's the fastest way because it's, it's faster than like getting a boat and going through. Yes. Okay. By like four times. By four times. Yeah, it's really fast. <laughs> and yeah, I don't here. understand because I, I got used to using a boat. So like when they first started this world, I died, went back to the original spawn point, and it only took me five Minecraft days to get back to the village. Yeah. So, and that's when I started lobbying that, uh, could you reset the spawn point to be a little bit closer to where everybody is? <laughs> yeah. Which they did. Adventure Sam went and built the respawn anchor The respawn anchor about. point. Yeah. Okay. So for those that are, and we, want, we should say for those podcast listeners, if you get a chance, you can go and check out, we've We've kind of got a video corresponding with this, uh, if you want to see the underwater base. So, any any idea how far down you are under the water? Uh, we're down to Y37, and the surface is at... So, you're at Y37. And the surface is at 63. And the su surface surface water, with your, your head above water, is 63. Mm-hmm. And you're down to 37, which is basically the ocean floor. Yes. And I guess we won't go asking questions like why you built at the bottom of the sea. But uh, watching too many SpongeBob episodes, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I've never seen it, so. Oh, no, that's right. Your sister was the one that was watch into Sp SpongeBob. Anyway, we digress. Mm -hmm. So... Down in what what is the white material that your base has been made of? Is some of that glass? Um, so the base, the initial sphere where I put my bed, which is this one, has a concrete floor with a quartz edging because it just looks nice for an edge, and then clear normal glass domes. Okay. Because this is mostly where I was just wanting to start out and get something built to live under, and then. I was, I mean. Oh, it, it, before we get too far into this, maybe you should show us your 
elevator mechanism. Yeah. <laughs> if you see in chat, there's a dilemma going on on the server right now, but I can still talk. Um, so the el water elevator is simple. The soul sand goes up. The magma cream, magma cube. Nope. Yep. Magma cube brings you down. So and that's just basically. Watch you, and they're fairly fast. Watch you step in and. Yeah. So this one's up. Uh, and then one block over is the magma. Yeah. Magma block that takes you that sucks you down. The only thing is, is that if you land on the magma, you actually start taking damage unless you crouch. Okay. So that's the only downside to this whole structure is that you can take damage on one of the blocks. Okay, so you got you, you had your little dome down at the bottom of the sea. Mm -hmm. And various or, chests, not to mention dogs, to guard it? Yeah, this is the double dome, dome setup, the first two I built. And I didn't get the dogs here, it's just people kept blowing creepers up with my dogs. So then it would hurt all of them, and they would just be freestanding. So then I'd log on to the server, and they'd all teleport to me. Ah, uh, because when, when dogs get de-anchored, shall we say, they automatically... Teleport to their owner. Teleport to their owner if they're near enough. Yeah. Or if they're far away, then they teleport. But, yeah. Or the, okay, if they're far enough, they teleport. Yeah. All right. And then building at the bottom of the sea is a little bit uh, logistically difficult, <laughs> shall we say? <laughs> it's very difficult when you Because you can don't die because you anything. don't have air. Yeah. So you managed to find some... What kind of uh, artifacts did you find to make a conduit? Um, a heart of the sea, which you find in buried treasure chests. And then nautilus shells, which can be fished killed got killed off of a drown and what else what are all the reasons i don't remember exactly but okay so you made a conduit which is that structure there yes well that structure is a conduit which basically lets you breathe underwater underwater you have increased mining speed underwater as well and at max level the conduit actually does damage to enemies such as the drown that is somewhere nearby somewhere nearby and taking damage oh, there they are there's the dead person and the fish but you can work in that area and not drown. Yes, for about 900 or 100 blocks. See, this guy, he's taking damage. The closer he comes, the more damage he's taking. And he's dead. Okay. But well, that was a drown that was attacking him because he was next to the conduit, which is also the most powerful place for taking damage for your mob. Well, they take damage from the conduit without me even touching them. So. Right. right. It was just that he was attracted to you because... I'm here. They're attracted to... Yeah. Humans. But this this did take a little while. Initially, I didn't have everything. I had the Hearts of the Seas and four Nautilus shells, but I was able to buy four off of uh, another player on the server so I could actually get this thing... Get, get living down here viable. So you have a viable living at the bottom of the sea. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is that large white structure there? So if I go through to your here, little dome... So down this little hallway are my was the initial tube. Then this is the third one I built because I just wanted to build somewhere more decorative. And this is also where the first incident of the dog teleportation happens. So that's why there's more dogs in here. And then this larger dome is sort of just my farm area where I farm. And you have a farm area and there was an Enderman hanging out doing no, who knows what. Yeah. Okay, so you've set up kind of a semi-automated farm there, mm -hmm. it's... where with a flick of the switch, you flooded it, you collect a bunch of carrots, and now you get to plant some more carrots. Yeah. Right? Or what are you planting? Carrots? Carrots, yeah. Okay. Because it's a basic food, and it's not bad, and I can trade for villagers with it for emeralds. And... Ah. And it doesn't require any cooking to be edible. No. I mean, potatoes are always edible. It's just... Potatoes are actually more viable due to their increased food output compared to carrots when baked. When they're baked. Hmm. But more steps. Okay. And then this is a uh, melon farm. I know pumpkins are better, but I just wanted to make melons because melons. Because you like watermelon. Yeah. Okay. It is very difficult to get out of this tiny box. I can understand that. I prefer watermelon over pumpkin, so. Yes. Boop. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the built areas of the base. And now we have a public service announcement. As I tell my son, Junior, 
Being a well-educated man is more than roaming the world with a bullwhip and a fedora. You can't expect to make a good living running from Nazis and digging up old junk from the dirt. Look, take my advice and get yourself into a library. The wisdom of the ages is there at your fingertips, with everything from classic literature to that pulp junk you kids read today. And you'll find popular music, video, and internet access. If you want to be a real hero, get your head into a book at your public library. Now, is there anything else on top? You, you've got your I've got elevator the, structure, but that's... Pretty much it. Then there's this, which is still under construction. Okay. And it's supposed to be like a little just pylon. I intend to put something in there, but not yet. I haven't finished the thing, as you can clearly tell. <laughs> and then the beginnings of another structure. And so then if I get on the server and want to come visit, if I get near the conduit, I don't have to uh, Worry about hold my right. breath. Yeah. For very long. Okay. Well, that's quite good. And so this is just just south of Orr's Rest, mm -hmm. of the interesting village that you have for 16-2. If I go to here and I can zoom out. And one of the features you've put on with the 16-2 server is a map. Mm-hmm. Right. And then... Uh, I was going to call it a Google map, but um, it's, it's, not, a Google it's map. not a Google map. You're, you're using a browser to load it. And it, it shows essentially in real time, You can, if you zoom in enough, you can see structures that are built. And you can also see indications of players that are on the server at the time. Mm -hmm. So if I hold tab right now in game, there's me and Lab Master. And if you look on the Dynamap, it's me and Lab Master. Okay. And it's, it only shows what has been discovered by players. Yeah. So, if so I, when you zoom out, you, you end up with some unknown areas. Yeah, there's this structure here. Where there could be dragons. Area. Here be dragons. Probably not, because I don't think dragons are part of vanilla Minecraft. Well, that's this the Ender is Dragon. Vanilla. Well, okay, there is the Ender Dragon. But, but that's about it. And then there's chunk errors. Loaded chunk errors. That's... that's probably loaded but it's not hmm. and at this point you've got up to almost a dozen different players come in on the server um i believe there's a dozen ips that have been on the server and off and on it's just not everyone has come on at one time yet right but yeah there's roughly a dozen and this might be a interesting point that uh, we can you've got a certain few basic rules for the server so that uh, if people come on they're supposed to follow them. we might uh, publish those rules maybe on a page on our website which is adventurepodcast.com mm -hmm. and maybe do an about page there where you can have some rules and uh, when you're ready I don't know if you will want to publish the address the, Maybe in an upcoming episode or two. Uh, yeah. Maybe. Okay. So this is Adventure Sam's secret, almost secret, underwater base. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you for coming and joining us, people listening on the podcast and watching the video. So that has been Adventure Sam. And Adventure Steve. With adventurepodcast.com. Tune in next time.